Welcome back to this kind of series that I'm doing. If you're new to the MPC 500 like me and obviously you've got no idea what you're doing then I recommend you go and watch episode 1 that covers like formatting the CF card and kind of getting you set up to make beats in the future. In this video we're going to cover loading up some samples, making a quick 4 bar loop and then saving it so you can work on it later. Okay so here we are, we're back at sequence. If you don't know how to load and save then you're not really going to get anywhere. So I'm going to use the samples that I dragged from the computer in the last one. Right now, I haven't got anything on the pads. So I'm gonna go mode, then load, and we wanna load a sample. As I said before, the folder, click right to get in the folder, and then you've got all your files. To assign it, you're gonna press do it on the sample, and then you're gonna click the pad that you want to assign it to. So here, I'm just gonna hit A1, do it, and it's loaded. Now, now it's on that pad. If we go back in, maybe we want a snare and do it. Then let's just quickly stage them. So this one's probably a bit too loud. We can bring that down to 60. This one up to 80. And this one up to 90. So that's how we've loaded it up. And obviously you can have more sounds or more pads and then you do the same with samples once you've chopped them up. I'm going to save sample chopping for another video, so definitely look out for that. To record it, we're on sequence now, and a sequence is like a loop. But right now, usually they set it to a default 2. You go sequence and parameters, and so now the sequence length is 2 bars. So we want to step it up and take it to 4, do it, and now it's 4 bars. We can go back into sequence. Now that it's 4 bars, what you want to do is go into track. Track 1, you you know, you assign them to each track, it's just like a bit in a door. You're going to have track 1 as the hi-hats, track 2 as the snare, and track 3 as the kick drum. If you're not very good at playing in your hi-hats one by one like that, what I would do is first change the tempo, so let's set it to 90, go timing correct. And you see how it's 1 8 swings 50% that means it's totally on grid. So then if we hold down note repeat and hold down the hi-hats, we're gonna get this kind of thing. So to record, what you wanna do is press overdub because then sometimes it doesn't mess it up. Press overdub and that arms it and then press play. And it gives you a counter. And then you hold it down for four bars. One, two, and to bring it back to the start of the loop, you could just press the locate button and click it a couple of times until it gets to 101. So now that we've done that, track one is the hi-hats. We then go over to track two, which is the snare. For the kicks, we're gonna put it on track three. And for my kicks, what I like to do is go into timing correct switch it to 1 16th by clicking the wheel twice to the right and then bring this number up to about 65 like that. If you want to go a bit more in depth you can press 12 levels here and that gets us obviously 12 different levels and then you can go in a bit more of a dynamic range and swing. So we bring it back to the start, track 3 we'll just record. So now that we've made the simple drum beat, what you're gonna to wanna to do now is obviously save it. Either so you can kind of bounce it out later, or because this is just the drum track, save it so you can work later. If you turn the MPC off, everything you're working on at that moment is gone forever. You're never gonna get it back. Go mode, and then save, which is pad three. Go all the way here to entire mem project, and that saves everything you're working on right in the moment. So if we press do it, it'll say save to. Now I want a new folder. So we're gonna click one to the right, press new folder. If you're kind of doing it with me, I would recommend making a new folder for every beat. That's what I do. And for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna call it demo. Dem, and then one, two, three for O. Come down, make sure you've saved it to demo. Press in there, call it. And then you call the project the same. So I'm gonna call it demo again. I'm gonna save it. Replace file, yes. And now it's saving all our things, all our sequences, so that's fine. And this is a real test to see if we've saved it right. You turn it off and on again, it'll only load it up if we've saved it properly. So to do that, you're going to go mode load, because we're loading it up, project, 
let's find demo, that's what we were working on. Good, it's in there. So you come to demo, do it, clear memory, you click yes, and this is the test. Yeah, it saved it properly. So there's our drum beat. Hopefully you found that helpful. We covered how to load up samples onto the pads, how to make a quick drum beat, and then save it. I'm kind of doing the basics, and also I'm still learning as well because I only got the MPC just over a week ago, so you're kind of learning with me. And I think what I'm gonna do is every time like I learn a new step or something, I'm gonna share it with you with these YouTube videos. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode where I think we'll be covering maybe something like recording samples into the actual machine.